not quite able to confirm the first place finish tonight at Tiva, but a tremendous win over Leicester nonetheless. Yeah, I think uh, we, we came out and played extremely hard. Um, you know, we we played together, moved the ball well, and um, Leicester's, you know, they've, they've got some injuries and stuff like that, but they played hard and played well. We did a good job to combat, to combat that. You mentioned it was a, a quite an aggressive start to the game. You're really trying to assert your authority on the match tonight. I think we try to do that every night. I think sometimes it works better than other times, but um, tonight, the way we came out, the energy really translated on the court and, and created some defensive turnovers, and we scored the ball well to start the game. One factor quite early in the game, Bennett Cook with 11 rebounds by half time, I think finished with 17 in total. Yeah, Bennett was, um, you know, they've got a real big body down there too, and um, he did a good job of just banging and, and kind of um, keeping them off of getting position and scoring easy baskets, and that's what we asked him to do. So, you know, Bennett played a great game tonight. You led by 12 at half time. Were you confident you could make it to 22 by the end of the game? <laughs> You know, with Leicester, you got to respect that they're going to make a push, they're going to make a comeback. Rob has them too trained up, and those guys know how to win. Um, I thought we weathered the storm really well. Uh, I was pleased with that effort. I think we maybe could have won by 22, but also they could have really cut the lead back down. So um, nothing away from them. It's a, it's a great game. In the third quarter, um, the Sharks outscored Leicester by 23 points to 10. Keeping Leicester to 10 in the quarter doesn't happen very often, does it? No, no. I think testament to these guys, they, they, you know, they came ready to play tonight. and. Um, you know, I think we really like playing in our home, home venue, like to play in front of the home crowd. And you can see every time we play here, we uh, have a different level of step in our, in our step. You've still got that chance to confirm top spot in Glasgow next week. What are your thoughts on that? We're going to go out there and play to win. Um, you know, whatever happens, happens. We, we've put ourselves in a great position so far. We're going to just keep doing what we're doing. We seem to say this every week, but uh, what performance from Nick Lewis tonight? 29 points, five rebounds, two assists and four steals. Um, he just seems to get better and better. He's always been a talented player. I think he's now just, his maturity and his talent's kind of starting to match up now where he's, the game's slowing down, he's making great reads and he's shooting a lot of confidence and uh, his teammates feed him and, and, and help him to get to that, those, those numbers and it's great to see. I'm sorry to give a few mentions to a few other players. Another 20 point hole for Connor Cashel tonight. Yeah, Connor's, again, slowly getting his rhythm. He's a rookie, but he, you know, the way he plays and moves, sometimes you might think he's got some years of experience, but he's definitely getting his footing overseas and in, in the BBL. Uh, another mention for, for Booner and Dye tonight. He looked to have a, a fluidity of movement that we've not seen yet. Yeah, he's, he's slowly coming back to form. Um, in practice, he's every week coming back a little bit stronger, and uh, you know, we're excited to get him back in rotation. Um, I don't know if you've been studying the, the tables in the South Division. I just wondered if you've got a preferred opponent in the quarterfinals. Uh, no, I can't say that I do. I think um, it's so hard. We haven't played anybody, so anyone. it's all about matchups and how you match up with teams. and. We've got to make sure we, we are the, we're the best us we can be when we play the South teams.